Whether arriving or departing, visiting or coming home, Arts at the Airport takes flight here on Arts Break. Most frequent flyers admit that airports can and do induce stress. So how does art impact travelers' state of mind and their stress level? The main mission of Arts at the Airport is to provide an opportunity for artists to show their work as well as to provide our passengers with an opportunity to view something that maybe will make their travel a little bit more entertaining or light or enjoyable. Arts at the Airport is a showcase of cultural diversity and creative talent from Tennessee residents or artists who have close ties to Tennessee. This artist is Sharon Lee Hart, and we really love these photographs because it kind of takes the ordinary into the extraordinary with, you know, you, wouldn't, you don't normally think of farm animals, portraits being taken. And should you come a calling on the north side of the ticket lobby, look for Mark DeYoung's large scale work. And before you go through security, look for the sculpture Waveform, Pan American Blues, created by Shen Shen Xing. What the concept is, is that it's a sound wave taken from Pan American Blues, which is a song performed by D. Ford Bailey on the Grand Ole Opry. Even young art aficionados appreciate the Hispanic Heritage Month exhibit that features five Nashville artists of Hispanic descent, including wood sculptures, weavings, and paintings. And a real gem of the arts at the airport is the collection of photographs by John Guider. I just wanted to discover a part of America that was being overlooked and to see the countryside from the perspective of a canoe about 18 inches off the water is pretty amazing. This is kind of one of the more iconic photographs of the, the journey. It's, it's my canoe at the water's edge on the Mississippi. The canoe turned out to be a wonderful calling card. I was above Clarksville and I met this wonderful gentleman named George Rye. He was more in the autumn of his life and, and his wife, who he loved dearly, um, was in a nursing home. But in spite of that, he would go over to the nursing home every now and then and literally grab her in his arms and, and carry her down to the river and gently put her in the canoe and they would go out and fish. It just made, made me realize that, you know, no man is an island and we're very dependent on each other, not only for our survival, but for our well-being. And lucky for us, the river of arts and humanity runs through us all. For more information on arts at the airport, log on to wnpt.org slash arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Ingram Charitable Fund and a grant from the Tennessee Arts Commission.